Hi, welcome to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. Vampire Survivors-esque. I want to say arena shooter, but that's not really a good description for this genre. What would you even call this genre? It's like a top-down enemy hell. It's not bullet hell. It's just endless hordes of enemies continuing to swarm you at the center of the screen. In this one, though, you actually shoot the gun yourself. You control it. You can you kind of play the game, which seems a lot more interesting. I've played one single run here, as mentioned a little bit ago. Got 2,300 runes, which I assume is like the meta progression currency, so we'll see, what the, see what's going on with that. I'm gonna go with Shauna and her trusty balanced revolver. And we'll play the uh, standard mode here. Apparently there's like a prestige system going on here with the darkness levels as well. Let's check it out. You know you gotta have a banging soundtrack with a game like this. Borderline necessity. So right away you can probably, you know, see the resemblance. Can be met with these early zombo brain hordes with eyes and trees that are just as unsettling as you'd think. I've noticed you can't actually deal damage to them. It does make me wonder if you can kill them at some point. I'm sure you can. I just don't think I've got nearly enough damage right now. Let's see. I kind of like going for the dragon egg here as our first upgrade, even though that's obviously not going to give us any kind of advantage right away. This is a system very similar as well. Actually, the, uh, the unlocks here, as you can see, or uh, what this can uh, continue to unlock is an interesting concept as well. Kind of have to get pretty familiar with these uh, symbols, I suppose. But yeah, let's go for the dragon egg. Let's make something exciting out of this one. We've got three minutes on the clock, so this thing will hatch around 16, 18 or something like that. Not expecting it to do anything at the moment. Maybe it'll get a little more exciting as we go. Maybe it'll start to poke out of its shell a bit. All right. Some early hoarding going on. I ended up defaulting to kind of a lightning mage build my first go. Of all the options that I saw presented to me, those ones started to stand out real quick. Magic lens keeps popping up as well, which is an interesting one. Summons a lens that gives all bullets that pass through it plus 30% damage in size. Which is increased by your summon damage. Could be a frost mage this time as well. Quick hands is a nice one. Quicker reload rate. There's electro mage again. I think I'll go with frost mage. Let's see how that works out. Let's see what kind of... Uh, Possible combos and whatnot we can encounter with that. Gotta go up and grab my XP. It's a lot easier on the eyes, this game. And uh, Vision ends up actually playing a factor as well. You'll notice our little uh, aura of light we got going on, which we can actually increase via one of the uh, upgrades that we'll see. I think it might even be multiple upgrades. Not a fan of the lens. The initial upgrade's fine, but the later ones feel worse. It's, yeah, that's one that I'm already being asked a lot to actually have to play the game and then have to coordinate where the lens lines up. Come on now. There's only so much gaming one bear can handle. Should probably go ahead and try to blow these guys up to aid in our... Uh, of this horde a little bit because this is actually getting really nasty real fast. Should probably keep shooting too. That would help us out a little bit. I only got one minute until my dragon hatches, so I'm certainly hoping that that's going to help us out. But I definitely need to try to get some of these coins on the ground here. Ooh. Trained dragon. How to train your dragon. Gains 10% attack speed every 60 seconds. It works even if your dragon's still in its egg. That's cool. Okay, sure. I mean, we're investing pretty heavily in the dragon that way, but you know what? Let's do it. I guess the idea here is literally just survive. 
Just wait until the dragon hatches and then it'll, it'll take care of you, buddy. Don't worry. It'll fix this all up. Just don't die before then. Orion! Thank you for the 15 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Get the bear hugs going, please, if you got them as well. Appreciate it. Your dragon gains eight damage every 60 seconds. My God, do I seriously dare, like, invest that heavily in it this early on? Ghost Friend seems fun, too. Ooh, he shoots piercing bullets for 22 damage. It does feel like we got to just go all in on the dragon at this point, right? Yeah. If it's presenting us with this many opportunities to do so, I would be remiss to... to uh, to not take advantage of that. Not to mention, this is still kind of going okay. I know it's not looking great, but we've been able to use these uh, explodey boys to, uh, to get effect here and clear out the hordes a little bit. This first boss showing up here is not all that threatening either. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. And I think we only got a few more seconds until our dragon boy has hatched. But first, an upgrade. Magic dagger here with the light weaponry. We got a power shot, which is always a good one. Rapid fire to increase the fire rate. Ice shard. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot three additional ice shards that inflict freeze. Or a vitality upgrade. Summon build? Sure. I'm all right with that. Go, my little dragon friend. Always oh, adorable. He's so cute, and he's immediately making an impact. Go, buddy, go. Oh, that's my best dragon friend. He's here to save the day. He's doing pretty good. And he's only going to get better. Yeah, he's thinning this herd real quick, man. Okay. Vision range plus 25%. That's what I was talking about there. All enemies within your vision range take five damage every two seconds. That seems pretty good. I'll take that. Kind of seems like the, uh, the garlic of this game. And an immediate upgrade again. Holy shield. Vitality upgrade. When an enemy is inflicted with freeze, they lose 25% of their max HP. Damn, that seems really good. I'm sure that'll help a lot more later, too. All right, this is going well. Magic Dagger's doing work, huh? Yeah. Go summon build, and we got our first chest. Let's grab this upgrade first, and then we'll see about what that is. Another summon. Oh, there's the ghost friend. I feel obligated to take him based on adorableness alone. The, the, the cute factor has a heavy weight in my mind. Oh, he's so cute. Look at my little pals. The whole squad coming together here. Triple the effect of the next upgrade you take. Don't mind if I do. That seems like it could be pretty good. Rapid fire would be huge. Magnetism feels like quite a bit of a waste for that. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to... That would be 30% of your dragon's damage? That seems very good. Ooh, summon damage plus 45%. Your ghost friend now shoots toward where you aim. Attack speed buff for them as well. That seems insane. That's true. We can't re-roll, huh? But that, that is... Uh, wow. Wow. All in on the summon build, huh? God damn, dude. And the ghost is going to shoot toward where I go now, which is... Honestly, I don't necessarily know if that's good. Oh, shit. Okay, here, here comes this guy. So this is the dude that ended my last run. He just jumped at me and... Honestly, I didn't really know how to handle it. I'm pretty sure I'm about to take a hit. Plus 40% more damage to our summons. Oh my god. Yeah, right? The damage from glare also applies the on-hit effects of your bullets. Is that the freeze? 
Hold on a goddamn second. Is that that's gonna freeze everything within my field of vision? Wow. Yep. Okay, so he did just hit us again there too. I'm not really sure how to handle this guy. I think I just need to keep running away or like try to watch the angles he's coming at me at like that. Ah, it's very difficult though. Oh, okay, there we go. Tome of summoning. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the one we want. Tome of rage. Triple your base max. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's gonna be the one to get. It's a summon build, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the dragon. Just endlessly spewing fire. So we're getting very quickly into vampire survivors territory where I've, I've kind of just stopped shooting all of a sudden. Let's see, magnetism doesn't seem like a, oh, haste. Mm-hmm. That's what I need. Michael Ayo Fox, where's my mouth pogs? I know I've got at least a few in here. We need to see him right now from my good friend. Long time friend. That's my boy, in fact. Mouth, it's been a while. Come to think of it. It's weird, man. We need to we need to hang out IRL sometime soon, buddy. I I am excited. I'm getting to uh, go see our good friends, Apollo, Chibli, and Justin very soon. That's next week. That's exciting. Oh, there's a scythe. Yes, please. Go ahead and add that to the mix. Another summon. Yeah, I'm very excited to go see them, but it's making me want to go see all of my very good friends from the NLSS crew. I don't get to do ever. I'm guessing you played a little bit of this already, yeah? I got an IRL bear hug with your name on it, pal. There's the magic lens again. This is going to be a massive benefit given the uh, summon bonuses we've taken. Mmm. Your ghost sh friend shoots two additional projectiles. Summon attack speed plus 50%. He looks so much happier here. He looks like he's having such a good time. I can't possibly take that away from him. Found it a bit easy. This is only my second run and I feel we have uh, put ourselves in a pretty good position here. It seems like it's pretty, uh, not easy, but there's a lot of potential for extremely powerful combos things that can synergize so well that your build just gets to a ridiculous level of strength pretty early on kind of seems like we're going that route dragon bond again is also oh man sharpen though geez these are it seems like every upgrade is extremely powerful too or at least what we've seen so far I don't want to try to make my gun not, you know, like forgettable because the, you know, half the appeal to this is actually being able to participate instead of just letting these guys do all the work. But then again, does seem like a good way to continue to invest in our success is just letting them carry me to victory here. Inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. This effect occurs more often the faster you move. Huh. You know, I think it's probably magic lens time. This thing just... Oh, that's what that's going to be. Okay, I was wondering how that was going to work. Yeah, no, that is... Uh... Maybe something we can use is probably forgettable for the most part right now. I'm going to try to take advantage, don't get me wrong, but... Doesn't seem like it was... Oh, Jesus Christ, I did not see that thing. It's getting very difficult to 
see myself in all the chaos here. I gotta pay closer attention. I might wanna get a vitality upgrade soon too, just to have another hit. Cause I'm not thinking there's gonna be any kind of chance to recover HP here. Summon a second magic dagger, holy shit. Oh, holy shield seems pretty good. This is a good defensive option. Sure, let's take that. Oh. Okay. Seems like geared toward min-maxing the obscene numbers in late game more than punishing you to get there. I, I imagine things are going to get a lot more hectic. Yeah, we're certainly still early on here. It's only 11 minutes left on the timer, so... Yeah, perhaps this level of scaling is in fact necessary. There's the vitality I was hoping for. Increases reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. That's interesting. I do feel I should go ahead and take this sharpen given how big of a benefit that would give us right away. Hey there, Mellow. That makes sense, Malph. Yeah, I get that. I'm anticipating this is going to notch it up a little bit. Once we get maybe past like the 10 minute mark or so here. That intense glare has been very tempting the entire time. I'm going to go ahead and grab that too, because that is like just the constant freezes we're applying. I assume. I mean, I'm not really seeing that all that much now that I think about it. Maybe I'm misunderstanding how the glare works. I'm seeing occasional freezes, like especially ones that are kind of like out on the outskirts. Bullets that pass through magic lens gain plus two bounce. That's kind of fun. Pyro mage, rapid fire. Let's reroll this set. Divine Blessing. Uh, yeah, that seems good. I'm sure increased move speed as little as I... Well, there's, there's just some part of me that worries that if I get too fast... This is... <laughs> this is like not wanting to go to the gym because you don't want to look too muscular. It's like, ah, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want, I don't want to accidentally run into the enemies because I'm just... Zipping around everywhere, everywhere. Uh, let's see. Call down lightning to strike a random enemy for 22 damage every second while Holy Shield is active. That's pretty fantastic. Wasn't planning on going with any kind of lightning mage build, but if you insist, I mean, Jesus, yeah, that's just going to be constant lightning bolts. That seems really good. Here's all that massive pool of XP we left behind. Just got to get all around the edges here. Be real thorough about it. Yeah, the summons are still doing all the heavy lifting here. Vengeful Ghost. He can be vengeful and happy. Okay, well, that's nice. I'll take it then. He's gonna shoot two additional projectiles on top of everything else. Yeah, this is working out. And in uh, Vampire Survivor's fashion, we're getting much less experience at this point. Is the ghost not shooting unless I shoot? No, he's shooting, okay concerning for a moment all right let's just focus a lot more here on our position considering this is getting a lot more chaotic very quickly is that a boss i think that's a boss i think he might have died what's this six next to my oh that's the amount of bullets you've got okay i see noise Ah, three halo pieces can now appear as upgrade choices and collect all three to recover Shauna's halo. All right. Okay. 
can do. Holy Shield now regenerates in one minute. Uh, let's reroll. See if I can get the Halo piece. No luck. I'm gonna get Magnetism. I just like it. Hey there, I don't like this. Welcome. Hope you like this. I sure am so far. This has been fun. I am also winning handily, which always helps me feel a little bit a little bit better about things. Really uh lubes up the dopamine passages. I'm sorry. I'm not. It's an interesting visual. It's good enough for me. That's true, yeah, we've only ever done the one survivor with the one gun. There's plenty of variety left to check out here. Not to mention, of course, there's lots of other different kinds of builds to check out. Kind of reminds me of Nova Drift. In a lot of ways, especially with this summon build we got going on. Makes me think of doing something very similar in that game. Oh boy, yeah, okay, this... Gotta remember the white ones are not dangerous. So there's a part of me that still keeps trying to dodge all those, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and help him out over this way. There we go. Power shot is not really all that enticing, to be honest. Uh, this is looking like another reroll here. There's a halo piece. Second magic dagger, though, that's uh, that's pretty good, but I think I probably gotta go ahead and go for that. I have no idea what the halo actually does, but if they divide it into three separate pieces you have to get, one would hope that it's pretty powerful. The color makes it hard to differentiate the enemies. Yeah, I was struggling with that and just trying to separate myself from the... Uh, from the mess earlier on. It gets a little easier as you go. Get a little more used to the color palette. But I can certainly uh, empathize with that. Unless you play Halo 3. Oh shit, that'd be fun. Built in is just a mini game. I was gonna say I wonder when we're gonna get to the point where we can like play Halo 3 on our phones, but we are there. We're easily there. We got there a while ago. Which is crazy. Doo -doo -doo. This song's pretty good. I will say it's not as much of a banger as the Vampire Survivor soundtrack, but that's that's okay. Watch and learn seems interesting. I really want to try to go for these halo pieces, especially because we only got five minutes left. There's number two, or number three, I guess. Easy does it, buddy. Yeah, really not looking like there's any kind of like health pickup at all. You, you get what you get. Do your best to survive on that. It's very subtle, yeah. No, it, it, it's it's good music. It's just not like standout bangers, like I mentioned with survivors. Okay, so let's see how this boss operates. That other one was a lot more intimidating, just because of the quick movement. That one, not so much. see what's going on with this bullet bounce plus two well we can't take that one because we can't afford the HP loss Tome of elements is kind of meh triples your base max ammo lowers your bullet damage considerably I wonder if the fire rate actually increases the uh, fire rate of your summons as well 
Oh, you're right. It is max HP one or max HP minus one, huh? Elements is actually OP. Yeah, I guess the freeze duration increase would be pretty solid, huh? And our bullet damage doesn't really matter right now. Oh, I think my holy shield got popped. All right, I gotta be careful. Yeah, I think you're right about the elements here, Mel. In general, that does seem like a really good upgrade. Let's see. Okay, so this, I wonder if this is even gonna rec recover HP. Since this says max HP plus one as well. Curious. It will? Okay. Hmm. I wanted to go for the third halo. Holy shield quicker upgrade. Oh, this could be good. The damage of glare occurs twice as often. I, I keep seeing this and wanting to take it though, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the dual wheel now. Dagger bros. There we go, Wheel walls all cleared out. Oh shit. Flying boy. Yeah, okay, so here's a situation where it's a little more difficult to separate separate myself from the uh, from the mess. Jesus Christ. It died. Hooray. Still gotta wait for my shield to get back here too. Oh nice. That seems really good, especially now. We need quicker upgrades here. Increase XP gain by 40%. And there's our third Halo piece. Wonder what that does. Wow. Cool. It's not as good as I thought it would be, especially... Well, I mean, that would certainly benefit a lot of other builds a lot more. But not as helpful for us, unfortunately. But that's still pretty good, especially the vision upgrade. Because now if we happen to take that other glare upgrade, then we'll be a lot better off. Three minutes left on the clock. Things are certainly getting more interesting. Summon mastery, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what we gotta take for sure. That is right up our alley. Yeah, I think this XP bonus is going to be pretty massive here, too. We're getting levels much, much quicker. Holy shield regenerates quicker. There's the Sakat again. Let's take it. Glare damage occurs twice as often. Vision reduced slightly. Holy shield is still down. There we go, as I said. All right, terrific. Looking real good. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just stop firing for the most part, since I can go a lot quicker that way. Uh, let's see here. I mean, we could take Pyro Mage too, why not? Given our glare and our elements bonus we got going on, might as well get all the elements going at the same time here, right? No reason not to. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Our vision is outstanding now. I'm not even firing the gun, I'm just pointing in the direction that I want the ghost to go. I mean, I could fire the gun, there's no reason not to, but it doesn't seem entirely necessary either. Let's see. I feel strongly, at this point, the damage we've got, I should go ahead and invest in the survivability a little bit. 
Yeah, I think the fact that we invested so much in the dragon early on has really paid off for us here. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I'm very glad that I uh, took the HP upgrade. I could have just died right there. Oh, I'm controlling the... Oh, I died. What happened? Oh, no. It must have been a random projectile. Oh, geez. It's very difficult to see things sometimes. I didn't realize until that very moment that uh, the dragon was firing in the same direction. Yeah, the visibility is pretty rough, for sure. That was a great first go, though. That's the problem with summon builds. Yeah, it's just too, too much clutter, huh? So we've got all these runes. Here we go. Let's see. Vision range and pickup range upgrade. In fire rate and knockback when you're at below half your max HP. Knockback enemies after reloading. Bullets have a 2% chance per rank to inflict burn or freeze. That's pretty good. Bullet damage upgrade. So we'll go ahead and take... A whole bunch of these. Get rank one of everything to start. And then probably... Oh, you need to spend the runes to unlock characters as well? Okay, hold on, hold on. Didn't realize that. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot more enticing. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and just unlock them in order. Um, how do I... How do I do that? There we go. And then... Let's see. Oh, you only get one of them. I see. I see. Yeah, now I get it. All right, we'll just take those. And then let's unlock a new weapon. We'll try the shotgun. Sure, we'll try diamond with a shotgun. That works. I'll just unlock Scarlet as well. Okay, cool. Hit it. He's got seven hit points. Nice. All right. There's two shots on the shotgun, not too surprising. Does a decent amount of damage. Pretty solid. Do, 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 do. Magic dagger again. Burn damage. There's the glare immediately. I'll take it. Well, let's go Pyromage, actually. Try that out. Yeah, this already plays a lot different. Not the character, obviously, but the shotgun is a big change in my approach. Whoa, boy. Ooh, rapid fire could be good. That spread is going to kill us on this one. Oh, Electro Mage would be fantastic. Every second shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was what was enticing about that option initially. Oh, that lessens the... Sp oh, I misunderstood. Well, shit. That makes perfect sense in hindsight. Yeah, maybe I should take that one. There's oh, it's, it does say take aim. Duh. Well, that'd be really good then. Oh yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Not a drastic change, but still noticeable and helpful. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a gun build. Dragon early on again is very tempting. And I think 
Ooh, piercing, yeah. Oh my god, that's gonna be fantastic for this. Art reminds you of Risk of Rain just a smidge. Yeah, the first game more so, right? I see that. Whoops. Oh, I hope I don't blow up right there. Ghost Pal again. Uh, glare upgrade. Yeah. Or no, that's just the normal glare, right? I think I'm going to take Magnetism, actually. I know this is going maybe a strange direction early on here, but we'll see how, we'll see how it plays out. It already feels pretty good. Just the piercing and the uh, burn damage alone have been looking really effective. Oh, yep, yeah, that was that was on me. Hey there, Jangoth. Bullet speed plus twenty five percent. Bullet bullet damage plus fifteen percent. Frost Mage again. Double shot. That would be interesting. That adds the spread back, though. Let's try Sniper. Sniper Shoddy. The classic Halo combo. That's going to be pretty good, too, I think. Okay, this is already looking great. Oops. Yeah, I'm happy here. Bullet speed up. Automatically kill enemies below 20% HP. Probably doesn't do a lot for us right now, but that seems pretty good. On every fourth shot, launch a fireball that deals 40 damage. It also inflicts burn in a large area. Holy shield again, I'm pretty tempted to get. But, I don't know, man. This is... That's tempting. Gotta go with that bare belly every now and then. Gotta go with that gut. The gut dictates we take the speed. I am speed. Yeah, that was close. Whoa, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a little careless here. Let's kill this boss. Okay, he's taking a little longer than I thought. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Reload rate upgrade would be really nice. Yeah, let's take that. I like that play. Feel free to pause and open up the Synergies tab at any time. Ooh, they have a Synergies tab? Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do some studying. XP never goes away, right? That's pretty good. I'll take a power shot. Getting stronger and stronger. I'll get to that chest eventually. Don't you worry. Vice guy. 26 months. Welcome back in. Increase bullet damage and bullet size by 15% permanently every time you heal. Okay. Fun. Huh. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. Is that? That seems kind of not great on the shotgun. I do want haste. I'm going to be going a little quicker here. Keep firing, buddy. Keep firing. Do, 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 do. Nice. Glare again. Big shot. Big shot. Bullet damage up 35%. That's a big time upgrade there. 
bunch them all together a bit for now. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right. Thankfully, we can move a little quicker this time, so this should be a little easier, but still... Very concerned about this guy. He's so fast. Let's see. Oh, there's the heal. I think we take it. Certainly seems like a good idea. Come on. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Bullet bounce. Triple your base max ammo would certainly be interesting here. Spread plus 60, though. Yeah, no thanks. Another level of piercing. Yep, that's the one. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Okay. That's already very nice. Hmm. Burn damage plus 35%, sure. Yeah, we got a good thing going here. Big shots. like it. All right. Gates down. I'm going to bunch these guys up again. Here we go. I love the little spinning animation on the shotgun reloads. Pretty great. Max HP plus two, character size plus 50%. You know it. Big boy! Yeah! I don't know if that even had any benefit. Oh, big lady, my bad. Oh, the health, right, yeah, of course. That's nice. Not to mention, I think that counts for a... Uh, for an upgrade with our heal thing. Maybe not. Oh, yikes. Whoopsie. I might take the holy shield again. Speak of the devil. Ooh, that's kind of fun, but also not great for our build here. Uh, I'm going to take holy shield. Very defensive. Plus those holy shield upgrades, you can get it pretty good. Got lots of XP here. Oh, some good food down here! That's going to be an interesting situation right there. Uh, Divine Blessing again is very nice. Oh my god. Bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. Reaper rounds. Yes, please. Holy shit. All of the piercing. All of the piercing. God damn. Ooh, yeah. Yep, that's a big time synergy. Heal one HP every 90 seconds. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. I wonder if it would still heal even if I was at full health, if it would still count as a heal for the purposes of our buff. I guess we'll find out. Doesn't count at full, okay. 
I'm gonna have to thin this herd big time. I got that holy shield there. This is terrible, by the way. Yeah, this is not looking good. Oh my god. Um, enemies explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna help a lot. 10%'s not a lot, but when you get the amount of bullets that we're gonna be getting from these kills. This is awful, dude. Shotgun does not seem very good at dealing with a situation like this. This is like the skeleton swarm. God damn it. Huh. Reload rate up, increase bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. That's insane. That's very, very good for us. Oh my god, please. I can't even... I can't sit still for a, a, the quarter second required to fire. Like, for real. absurd like if I try to go forward I'm just I'm dead there's there's no getting out of that that was a fucking mess just not situated for that at all unfortunately he not Right click to summon a shadow clone that attacks nearby enemies. Shadow clone deals damage equal to, equal to your bullet damage. That's cool. I'm not for the crossbow yet. Go back to the revolver for a run. And I want to try Scarlet first. On every third shot, throw out a wave of fire that burns enemies for three damage per second. Cool. Cool. Eros! Thanks for the 23 months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Bear hugs if you got them. Mini fridge in the office. 10 out of 10 move. You know, that's something I've always wanted. As a very young YouTuber, that was one of the first things I wanted. I remember even asking our old coffee sponsor for something like that. Seeing if they could hook it up. I've got the capability of doing it. I'm saying it as though it's not a thing that I could just go make happen today. I probably should. I like power shot. Kind of like the idea of going for some like super rapid fire build here. Maybe like the complete opposite of what we were doing last time, which I suppose if I were to do that, I wouldn't be taking power shot, would I? I'd want something like take aim. Sure. Well, double shot seems good too. Seems pretty, pretty solid. All right, especially because of her ability. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to try to go for that. Yeah, her ability seems very good too. Some solid early DPS. Do, do, do. Let's see. All right. Oh, that's pretty good actually with our double shot because that's just concentrating the shot down into one single bullet pretty much. So yeah, I like that upgrade right away. Good for me. Maybe if I just keep burning the same tree, it'll die eventually. Man, 
magic lens. Penetration is pretty good. I'll probably go ahead and take that as well. Bullet penetration is extremely helpful in a game like this. There we go. I like the, uh, I like the 20 minute timer. It's, it seems like a good, a good length for a game like this. So I suppose what I'm looking for now is going to be a way to uh, reload more frequently and or faster. Not more frequently, less frequently, I meant to say. There are several ways we can do that. I want to invest in like maybe a lightning build soon now so we can start to go down that tree and find those upgrades more fasterly, right? Yeah, thank you. Bullet bounce, fire rate is good. Less damage, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll take the rubber bullets. Sounds like fun. I think that bounce might actually play a larger factor than I anticipate, too. Yeah, we're going to want to get uh, movement speed this time as well, considering how much that screwed me over in our last run. There's our boss boy. Let's see here. Fanfire. When shooting the last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets and circle around for 15% damage. That could work pretty well with our, bu our rubber bullets. Oh, there's our reload rate increase. That's kind of what I was going for. Let's go for quick hands. Yeah, this is already really good. I think I might even continue to invest in reload speed. Seems like it's going to help us a lot here. Yeah, it's already pretty weak. Oh, he might be dead. Yeah, he did die. Nice. Works for me. Oh, splinter again. Very tempting. Fire rate and max ammo upgrade seems really good. Yeah, let's take let's take the light bullets. That'll be a lot less reloading that way too. Burn damage up, bullet damage down. Sure. I'll rock that. I mean, burn damage upgrade on her seems extremely good we don't have to have a ton of bullet damage because we're just firing so many bullets death by a thousand stabs shooting when standing still has a 33% chance of not consuming ammo that's kind of cool I want a vitality upgrade though I did see the Moni, yeah, thank you. Well, it, it, honestly, it seemed like the kind of thing that I probably would have normally missed. I'm surprised I actually saw it myself. Did I just get hit by the tree? Yeah, standing still doesn't really seem like a good idea, does it? Okay, avoid trees, apparently. I don't think it did damage, though. I think it just knocked me back or something, right? Ooh, reload rate upgrade. Increased bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. Do, do, do. Yeah, we'll do that. Must just be a knockback. Yeah, that could still screw you over, though, of course. Gotta keep that in mind, too. This is already feeling pretty effective here. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't get a movement upgrade, did I? Shit. This is gonna be tough. I'm getting better at 
baiting him into going a certain way at least because that was what was screwing me over to begin with. Big shot, not the play here. Holy shield is still pretty damn good. I'll probably grab that again. Nice. Yeah, this is a little sketchy here. The tree provides iframes if you get into a bind. Oh, really? That's kind of interesting. Seems kind of useful, in fact. There goes my holy shield. That thing's finally dead. Nice. This is on level zero, Black Eyed. I just started playing today. Magnetism. Giant again. I don't know if that's the play this time. That seems kind of counterproductive. Reload rate upgrade plus max ammo. Yes, please. That is exactly what I want. I would go elemental here if it gave me the option again. Triple your base max ammo is certainly an interesting way to go. Ooh, I think that's actually our play. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, man. This is fun. Oh, shit. Got bit. Yeah, this is pretty great. Having 21 shots on this thing is uh, pretty, aw pretty awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to take haste. Finally. One of these days I'll look into the synergies and then we'll really pop off, huh? For now, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, that's a siege unit, speaking of which, huh? So it seems like it's actually the fire dealing the majority of the damage for us right now, which is as expected, I suppose. Giant again, kill clip. Increase reload rate by 5% for every enemy kill. This bonus resets after reloading. Yep. <laughs> Ow. Shit. Dude, oh shit, that's crazy. That's really, really good. That's a fun upgrade. That's a really clever upgrade for that. Run a gun's probably the way to go here. Pyro Mage would be crazy though. Oh man. Increase reload rate and move speed with Holy Shield though. But I think it's time to go Pyro Mage. Pretty sure that's the route we're going here, especially with our increased burn damage. All right, so here's about where we started to struggle last time, of course. This is where all the hordes start to show up, and we honestly are not really able to deal enough damage in my mind. Still. Thankfully able to get actually through this to get to this massive pool of experience, so that ought to help a little bit, but... Thankfully we have a holy shield here too, and we're a lot faster, so... That'd make it a little less insane. Gun mastery. Ooh, yeah, that's. I think that's the choice here for sure. Yes, please. Okay. We've got 22 in the chamber. In the chamber, 22 in the clip. Be a lot of shots at once, although admittedly that'd be pretty impressive too. Okay, yeah, that, uh, yikes. This is exactly what I was worried about. I think we just have to fire through. I think this is gonna be the only way this works. Even that, yeah, this is just this whole section here, man. I gotta figure out how the hell to deal with this because this is just fucked. This, this, this segment, we were having a lot, uh, a lot more success during that when I was 
working with the summons because they were just thinning the thinning the herd so easily for me. Yeah, it's the new bone zone. All right, we'll unlock spark. Well, let's unlock a new weapon first. I'll try the crossbow. Bullet damage increases when you stand still. Damage bonus resets when you move. That's weird. Right click to summon a shadow clone. Deals the damage equal to your bullet damage. Okay, sure. Let's try it out. Here, I'll take a peek at the synergies here too. Okay. Cool. When lightning strikes an enemy that's burning, create an explosion. Oh, that's neat. Stand your ground. Inflict freeze, also inflict burn. Your bullets deal an additional 10 damage. Okay, okay. Interesting. So she wants to sit still. That's her whole thing, I guess. And she's also got her shadow clone. And you pop down like this. Got that little melee action going on. Oh, it's got a dash with that too. That's kind of cool, okay. And it doesn't look like there's really like a cooldown on that. Ooh, double shot with a crossbow. Yes, please. Please and thank you. That'll help right away. Whoops. Okay, just dash right into that one. That's an important lesson to learn. Crossbow seems... Okay, so far. <laughs> I've actually been playing a little more Nuclear Throne now, Ares, after we rolled the dice on that for the subathon. I wonder if this... I don't know if Electro is the best way to go with this. Magic Lens could actually be pretty good for the crossbow. I still don't know about this thing. I, I respect its need for a deft hand. You gotta, you gotta be really playing well to capitalize on this magic lens. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna be doing that a lot. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna roll with. Normal shots for the most part, kind of a wasted upgrade there. There's Dragon Egg again very early on. Uh, lens is not for the lazy gamer. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go Dragon Egg again, dude. It was pretty good. We can do like a hybrid build too, right? It's not like we have to go entirely into one thing. Get a little summon help, but a little help for the crossbow at the same time, I'm sure. Hopefully. I'm wondering if there's going to there's gonna be more stages on this game. And, the, and also, coinciding with that, more music. Reload rate certainly seems quite good for the crossbow. Do, 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 do. So we're going to need a lot of help still. Obviously. This is a uh, fairly weak start. I guess we could be doing this more often. I completely forgot about that thing. My 
there's not really a limit on that either, I don't think. Ah, uh, plus two bounce. I'm gonna take my holy shield again. I do really like having the holy shield. It's just a nice fail save. Yeah, I gotta be doing that a lot more, actually. Pyromage. Take aim. Yeah. That'll be good. Much more concentrated effort here. I don't know if I'd even call it better graphics. Different graphics certainly rocks. Well, I guess the bar is pretty low for vampire survivors, huh? It's different vampire survivors. It's more, more involved vampire survivors. Sniper? Yeah. I'll take that. I am playing like one after all. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually shooting. As you can see, I got my crosshair here, and I'm... Yeah, it's a lot more... A lot more involved. This guy is surviving, speaking of which. Let's see... Max ammo plus two. Yeah, that seems pretty goddamn good for the crossbow, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. That's the kind of thing we need. Hey, Shambler. Welcome. All right. Yeah, that's going to be much better. Let's see what we get. Hina is now invincible during her dash. Hina's dash deals damage equal to her bullet damage to enemies in the way. Neat. That's pretty cool. Piercing on the crossbow seems insanely good. Kill clip, not as good this time. I'll take the penetration. Yeah, that's gonna help a lot. Oh yeah. Got it going pretty well now. Okay. Level 11. There's my dragon, yay! I got my buddy. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the Divine Blessing. I don't have it right now, of course, but it should still help. Oh, that was really stupid. Just walked right into that explosion. Shit. Oh, and you're here already, huh? Jesus. All right, here we go. Oh, that's... Wow. That's not a very impressive showing, is it? Shit. What a silly death. Oh, well. She's interesting, but... I think I want to do somebody else. Ooh, spark. Your bullets have a 50% chance to call down lightning. Okay. Can't afford another gun here. Let's go back to the... Uh... I want to go probably back to the revolver for spark here. Birdie Lala. I think for the six months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. Bear hugs if you got them. Thanks for the support. Here we go. Yeah, starting out with the lightning seems like it's going to be a hell of a perk. I think I think this lady might be a little stronger than the others so far. And you better believe we're going to be investing heavily in that lightning tree early on. Speaking of which, Electro Mage. All about the lightning. She was my first win because of the elemental synergies. I can already tell, yeah, it's going to get out of control real quick. It already kind of is. 
We're 40 seconds in, and look at this shit. Just zapping everything on screen. Let's see. Pyro Mage. Frost Mage. Let's get it all going, dude. Absolutely. All the DOT. This with SMGs is fun. Yeah, I was hoping to try the SMG. Didn't have enough runes to get the unlock, unfortunately. Maybe next time. This is already the strongest I've felt. At the beginning, anyway. Reload rate is always good in my mind. We'll take it. A little upgrade for the fire rate, too. Yeah, we're very quickly getting the levels here, too. Supersonic Seagull! Another Twitch Prime. Keep the bear hugs coming if you got them, please. Thank you for the support. Beat the seating sigh. Baby pooped on me. Good times. That's a classic Darkest Dungeon experience. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the bear hugs, too, y'all. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, a fire starter. On every fourth shot, launch a giant fireball. Yep, I like it. I'm liking this game a lot so far, Earthly. Yeah, this is my first day with it, but I'm having a real good time, and I can definitely see the uh, long-term appeal here. Still trying to work on that first win, but I'm, I'm glad that I haven't been able to just get one immediately. That means there's, you know, at least some degree of difficulty to things. Well, that just means I'm not as good as Malph, I guess, really. When lightning strikes an enemy, there's a 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. Yes, please. That's the way to go. Hey, coffee. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yep, not that. That was bad. All right, be more careful, buddy. Be a little more careful here. I need a, uh, maybe a summon again. Ooh, extra burn damage. Ooh, all lightning damage increased by 12. Increased lightning area of effect. Electro mastery, baby. Nice. Holy hell, we need some movement now. We need to get some move speed for sure because our damage is already out outstanding. See if we can find haste. Ooh, glare would be fantastic too. Reload rate and max ammo is always very good. Holy shield again, man. I just can't not do it, especially because we can get the upgrade for move speed and it's either fire rate or reload rate or something with that one too, which is outstanding. Love me a divine shield. And clearly move speed is of massive importance. I really should continue to fire as much as I possibly can, too. Simply firing my gun is of massive importance to us here. Need some help, though. I gotta get all this XP. Man, those lightning reloads are really doing work already. Call down lightning to strike a random nearby enemy for 22 set damage every second while the holy shield is active. Yep. Earthly kill. Don't say my name with the voice or I retract my tip. Fuck. It's, a, it's an instinct, man. <laughs> Electro affinity. Holy hell. That's really good. There goes the uh, lightning damage popping off. Dude, thank you for the ten dollars. We appreciate that quite a bit. Hmm. There's the glare again. I'm gonna take it. Dude, rapid fire would actually be really good though. That'd be a lot more lightning. But then again, nah. Let's do this. I like this.
Especially because we have so many lightning bolts here. I feel like our chances of actually getting the reload to work are pretty high. Yeah, I'm really liking this now. Haven't won a run yet, no. Hopefully this will be our first. We're still very early on here, though. Haste. Oh, it's the overload. I gotta do it, right? Absolutely, yep. When lightning strikes an enemy burning, create an explosion that deals 25 damage. Oh, yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, that's the synergy, right? Yeah, that's huge. Jesus Christ. All of a sudden. Just obliterating everything instantly. Haste shows up again. I do think it is time to grab that. I want to make sure we're able to be mobile here. And it does come at an opportune time here as I believe the uh, Speedy Boy is going to show up. Dumpster Milk Tea. Thank you for the Prime as well. Keep the bear hugs coming for the Prime subs here. Ruiner XL. Appreciate that as well. Bear hugs, please. Welcome back into the pile. Thank you very much. This is going very well. Holy shit. Come on, elements. Ah, damn. No luck. Tell them of speed? I don't think so. I like Tome of Rage, though. Tome of Rage is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that'll help a lot. Armed and ready. Let's take Frost Mage, too. All the elements! Yes! Yes! Now it's coming together. The bear Vitar, yes, there we go. Captain Baronet. That one's less good. But wow, yeah, look at this. Inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. <laughs> sure, yeah. Then again, double shot. Or rubber bullets, but eh, rubber bullets is less important. I like blazing speed. Especially with our uh, synergy with the uh, overload. Although I guess we're not going to be doing a lot of running, are we? Maybe later we will. Are you real? I always thought you were a made-up guy on YouTube, Bear. I was gonna make a joke, but what? Hang on, what? You thought I was... Maybe I'm not real. Am I real? Maybe I'm just a YouTube character. Can you prove it? I mean, I've never seen me and Bear Taffy in the same place. That doesn't really work. What I was going to say is that I'm not actually a human being. We've established for a while now that I'm actually a bear. And this is a highly advanced human animatronic. But I'm just really kind of confused about your perception of this. Like, you know all YouTubers are real people, right? Like, even the VTubers, they've got human beings operating them behind the scenes, which I suppose may have been the initial cause of your misconception. Okay, yeah, now, now that I think about it, VTubers in general they have created 
a world in which it might be really realistic to assume that I'm not real. But not if I've got a human face. No, they probably got even those two. That's probably only a matter of time until the joke we're making about me being an advanced computer program, essentially, is not far from reality. Heck, we all live in a simulation anyway. Right? Let's just embrace it, I guess. Okay, so here's where madness ensues. This is where we're hoping all of our AOE upgrades are going to pay off. Take armed and ready. I thought you were a guy portraying a persona. Persona! Okay, so you thought I was like, which, okay, if this is what you're getting at, this is a lot more realistic and is actually kind of true. In that I don't act exactly this way to people in my life. Ooh, yeah, take that. I don't introduce myself as Bear Tappy to strangers at the bank. I don't introduce myself to anybody at the bank. I don't know why I set it up that way. Say I'm going to dinner with, with two of my wife's co-workers. That's another weird situation. Why are you doing that? Let's assume they're married. Okay, so in this hypothetical, I'm out to dinner with my wife and a married pair of her co-workers. None of them are married. We're getting deeper and deeper into this in unnecessary ways. Let me describe their hair for you intricately. So these two fictional co-workers that my wife has brought to dinner with us, one of them's got giant liberty spikes, like huge, like they're three feet long. It's ridiculous. Dyed neon colors. He looks like one of the dudes from the attempted uh, spin-off pilot of Stranger Things. He looks like that guy. And then the other one is Scarlett Johansson. Okay, cool. So we've got Liberty Spikes and Scarlett Johansson are at a dinner with us, and they're my wife's co-workers. And I show up later for some reason. Apparently, I'm not there initially, but then when I arrive... I, I show up and I say, hi, I'm Alex. I don't call myself Bear in that situation where I'm, where I'm introducing myself to hypothetical Scarlett Johansson, okay? Does that clarify it? Did that help at all? No? All right. Well, I give up. I tried. Maybe you should? Maybe I should, you're right. Maybe ScarJo would be a little more interested in what I've got to offer if I were to introduce myself that way. Increase bullet damage and move speed by 10% every 10 seconds. Eh. You know what, sure. That's probably pretty good. And I should encourage myself not to want to get hit. To want to not get hit. Do you think Scarlett Johansson finds it weird people always say her last name? Well, I don't always. I mean, I call her Scarlett. We go way back. I mean, ScarJo's just a good name. You sound like a pirate captain. Holy shield. Is it just down? Damn, I'm going quick now. Those upgrades added up fast. I call the rock the. You're on first name base. Yeah, no, that's. His friends call him the. Who 
else can we make that joke with? There's not a lot of options, are there? I was going to make a Rihanna joke, but a lot of people do. I'm sure her friends do just call her Riri or something. Is that her birth name? Or is that a stage name? Uh, sure, yeah, it's, it's friends call him Mr. Mr. T or Mr. Rogers even. You should try to get a famous person on Twitch with you, implying that I haven't already reached the peak of celebrity myself. Oh, wait, no, you, I, I, I misinterpreted. You're suggesting that I try to help somebody, maybe like a fledgling star like Scarlett Johansson, for example, if I could help out her career a little bit by getting her on my Twitch stream. I understand now. I see what you're saying. And that would be nice of me, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of me to give her a handout like that. Rihanna has a real name that's super basic, if I recall correctly. You gotta, you gotta complete the puzzle for me here now, though. You gotta tell me what it actually is. I think this move speed bonus is actually pretty helpful. Getting this out of a jam, dude. Robin Rihanna Fenty. That's not really basic. That's kind of a cool name. That kind of name does sound like it comes from wealth. I mean, yeah, Robin's a cool name. You don't even have to spell it with, an, uh, with a Y, but she's got that extra wild card in there. Wild card, ah. <laughs> this is seeming kind of bad. I guess I need to shoot more, but even then, I'm pretty worried about the uh, massive horde of flying leeches that has shown up here. Yep, this, uh, I'm dead. Yeah, that got real bad. Bummer. I feel like we were doing really well there, and then we stopped getting upgrades for a few minutes, and then our scaling just completely fell off. I guess I just wasn't getting enough XP. Oh, well. Lilith. When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. Spirits chase down nearby enemies and deal eight damage. Cool. Okay. Let's unlock the flame cannon. Bullets burn enemies for three damage per second. Oh, that was Spark Coffee. Just playing Spark. Well, I want to mostly try to use the runes to unlock the characters and weapons for now, and then we'll worry about getting the, uh... Worry about getting the other stuff later. The rune upgrades. This is fun. Just got an interesting kit going on. I immediately saw the benefit of getting a lot more move speed too. Pyro Mage right away is probably not a bad idea. Let's do it. Burns on burns on burns. You thought earlier builds were difficult to see with Bear? Just wait for this one. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Okay. Yeah, it's already getting a little cluttered here, huh? Those spirit skulls are probably gonna... ...muddle things up a bit. Ghost friend! Ah, let's take the fire starter. Launching some big ass fireballs. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 
like this already. It's going pretty well. It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Burn damage up. Absolutely. All in on the burn. He's pretty good at making you figure out good synergies. You'll be tearing it up in no time. I look forward to it. Yeah, this is... Again, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not just immediately stomping everything here. That's That never really bodes well. The fact that there has been an appropriate level of challenge still is encouraging. Double shot seems pretty good here. Is there a frost mage, freeze mage synergy, I wonder? Frost and freeze. Yeah, nice. When you inflict freeze, also inflict burn for six damage per second. Cool. Cuckles! 29 months with Twitch Prime. More and more bear hugs, please, for him. You got him. Show the love. Thanks for the resubscription. Appreciate it. I'm already really liking the double shot we got here on the fire cannon. Spitfire could be fun, too. Haste, though. You gotta get haste. Seems borderline necessary in a lot of these builds. Especially because I think I can kind of outpace these guys just by slightly moving back like that. This is going pretty well here. Feeling a little stronger than I typically feel at this point. And the burn damage is really working out. Those fireballs are doing work too. The spirits are actually helping a lot. Dragon egg early again? Don't mind if I do. That is fire based after all, right? I feel... I feel it fits into the build pretty well. I do love me a little dragon boy as well. I'd probably take the upgrades for him this time too, considering we're doing pretty well for the moment. Oh, there's our boss. Let's go this way. Ooh boy, we gotta move out of the way of that one. Ah, age dragon, nice, yes. There's our first. He's gonna be a strong lad when he gets out of there. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Come over this way, that guy's gotta be close. Getting a lot of uh, a lot of burn damage on the boss here. There we go. Let's grab this little puddle and then head back up. I do kind of want to just take split fire. Uh, let's go frost mage though. Let's get that uh, frostbite or freezer burn or whatever the hell it was called. Oh yikes! Whoops. Well, there's our first hit. Oof. Summon damage upgrade. Okay, sure. That'll help our dragon. In my opinion, the dragon eats too many upgrades for how little it does. I was certainly enjoying it uh, in our first run today. I think it was kind of a hard carry for me, actually. We had invested so much into it, and it really seemed like it was paying off for us. Yeah, we did get a lot of summon buffs that run, too, though, didn't we? So that would certainly help to explain it. Yeah, I guess if you're already going that direction with your build, it certainly makes it seem a lot better. Let's see. Up and over here. These spirits have been doing some big work too. That's a really nice ability she's got. 
Dragon Bond, your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage is not bad, but it's not necessarily the thing we should go for here, I don't think. I'm gonna take Magnetism. Hey, you know what? No, let's do, let's do Glare. Glare to eventually get the burn damage on everybody in Vision is gonna be pretty great, I think. This guy's a lot easier to deal with these days. Especially when we have haste. Divine Wrath. I guess I could take the Dragon Bond. Oh boy. Oh shit. Get out of here. There we go. He is surviving, dude. Dragon! Yay! He's here. All right. Tome of Elasticity, Tome of Power, Tome of Elements. You know where we're going. Ow, jeez. I exploded right out of the upgrade there, shit. All right. Might want to go for some Vital. Oh, I got hit again somehow, shit. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to go for some Vitality. I don't want to die early again. Frostbite. Absolutely. Yeah, this, this is even harder to see everything, unfortunately. And there's going to be a factor, I guess. All right, I need to start actually collecting experience again. I keep getting into these circumstances with these later waves where I just keep getting pushed away from the damage I'm doing. So we're going to bunch these guys back up over here and then come back up and collect all this shit. Yeah, this is a bit of a visual mess here, unfortunately. Yikes. Okay. If you can get that 0.05% chance that burning heals you and make it a surefire win, that seems pretty good. Yeah, we got the frost fire. That's nice. That's what I was looking for. And then we certainly want to go for the glare upgrade now as well. Really want to try to get the holy shield back. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm scared. Oh, holy shit, that was very close. Nearly just walked into my death. Okay, we're looking a little better now, I think. There's our shield, nice. And vitality. Ooh, train dragon. Hmm. I think I need to... I think I gotta take the vitality, man. I'm scared. I don't want to lose the run early again. This is certainly looking a little worse, unfortunately, than some of our recent attempts. A lot less confident about this one. I gotta go get some more of these guys. Oh, yep, there goes the bounce again, shit. Jesus, this just gets insane. There's so many. Holy hell. There's the glare upgrade. Sight magic. That's what we need. Jesus Christ. Wow. 
What a fucking mess, dude. This is what just keeps happening to me as I get to the point where I'm just running. I'm not really getting any upgrades at all. It's just survival. Just try to bunch them together and get whatever damage I can. Oh, shit. Ah. Unfortunate. Struggling early, man. Last character. Right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions. That seems interesting. Let's try the, uh... Hmm. I suppose I want to have one that can actually benefit from that, so let's go for the revolver then. Hey, Joe. Chodakata! 27 months, welcome back. hi -oh! oh, that's fun. That's a neat little ability. Get the bear hugs up, please, for Cho's resub. Welcome back in. 27 months, thank you very much. What to do this time, I wonder. Dragon Egg, absolutely. <laughs> if it gives it to me in the first upgrade, I gotta take it. That just seems really strong. And we certainly want to try to get the upgrades for the dragon again here as well. Oh, my bad. I just realized I should move my face a slight bit down here. So you guys can see this part. Sorry about that. Not that it's really all that important. It would suck if you accidentally shot the egg, yeah. That <laughs> eh, would be a downer. Just had to be, like, super careful about it the whole time. Oh, she can move while she does that. That's kind of neat. All right, here we go. Age the dragon. You know what? Sure. If you insist... By all means, you're clearly going to need some more help here, though. Now, there's summon build. Yeah, it's certainly starting to look like it. Hey there, Blue. This is basically more complicated vampire survivors. One in a wave of uh, new shooters of this genre. Yeah, all dragon, dude. All in on the dragon. Yet again. Vampire Drift. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It's a combination of Vampire Survivors and Nova Drift. That has been my experience for sure. Music's growing on me. Yeah, I wasn't as big of a fan of it initially, but the more I play, the more I'm enjoying it. It's not like it needs a ton of variety. It blends into the background phenomenally. just got to get these upgrades as soon as possible is the thing because we want to if it's a dragon upgrade we want to get that going ASAP we just got to try to get these things and yeah there it is that's exactly what I was looking for train dragon coming up so obviously things are still looking pretty rough right now but as soon as that dragon hatches we're going to be in business And that's going to be pretty quickly here. I think it's in like another 20 to 30 seconds. And he is going to start doing big work on this group. There's our boss. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Maybe another summon here doesn't seem like a bad idea. 
Quick hands is nice too. Well, yeah, let's go with the light weapon right here. Let's get a dagger out there. Look at that dagger go. I think by itself is already doing some work. And there's our dragon. Here we go. Instantly hits a tree. Go, dragon. Haste. Absolutely. Oh, sharpen, though. Yeah, let's take the summon damage. All in on the summons. I feel like your damage quintupled with that dagger when, when it goes from one to five. Yeah, no, it, it, it makes it seem a lot more formidable. Certainly helped a lot. Our bar was pretty low, though. Getting these upgrades a lot quicker now. That's been nice. Let's go for the uh, holy shield again. I've clearly needed that. So the dragon is just by default now getting stronger every 60 seconds. For every 60 seconds on the timer after having picked up those upgrades for him. So I certainly don't mind uh, taking some extra defensive stuff now. Pyromage is good, but let's go heavy weaponry. Let's go all in, all in on the summons again here. Let's get our chests. Doubles how fast Abby fires during her special skill. I mean, sure, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Divine Blessing is extremely good. I'll take it. It's cool. I guess this is just what I'm going to do now. Let's do Abby's spin shot all, all, all day long. This game, I'm pretty sure, is like $4. Someone can vouch for that. Uh, Star Wars Shield's okay. I'm gonna go Frost Mage again. Oh yeah, pretty easy recommendation. It's $2.99, yeah, not even $4. Okay, I have just taken super dumb damage again. One of these days I'll stop doing that. Oh, yeah, look at this. The dragon does shoot with the cursor, doesn't he? Shit. Just realized that. Oh, my God. What am I... It's so easy to... Not see these guys sometimes. Oh, boy. This is gonna get sketchy. Already has... The dragon in particular makes it difficult to... Yeah, that was... That was that was a bad one. Let's try the dual SMGs. Upgrades apply separately to each gun. Huh. Oh, yeah, her with the dual SMGs sounds fun. All right, let's try that. That could be a good time. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, I like that. Rawr! I've noticed the sound that the uh, boss makes. Yeah, I've been trying to take advantage of that. Damn, that's a really long reload for that one. We're going to want to upgrade that soon. I know about it, Orion. Yeah, we're probably going to look at that after this run. I've been trying to unlock all the characters and weapons first. This is certainly a pretty simple way to line up these kills. Ghost buddy. Electro Mage is pretty goddamn good here too, but let's go for quick hands. Faster reload's gonna make a big difference right away. Which character do you like the most so far? Spark certainly seems really good. 
starting out with that benefit is pretty damn strong. Come on, no, let's not do it this time. Let's go with, uh, yeah. One more knockback. I was kind of wondering if it worked like that, Mash. It says every two shots and we're shooting the SMG. We're shooting two bullets per shot with this thing, so I wonder if it is every shot with that or if it's still just every other one. I do be working like that. Ooh, okay then, well. Oh, right, yeah, and they pointed that out too in the beginning that each gun has its own RNG, so you gotta keep that in mind. Blow up, goodness. Level four almost. Yeah, certainly gonna need some help here. Clearly already kind of fallen off. Ooh, splinter. That's probably a good way to go. It's not gonna do a ton of good for us right now, but. Ooh, fire rate, though, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's take rapid fire. I like that, too. Okay. Splinter just seems like an extremely powerful upgrade. Almost no matter what. There's a few... Oh, my God. Oh, my God few circumstances in which I don't think Splinter would be good. This is just... We need a lot of help here. This guy's already showing up. This is looking really grim. Can't even get the... XP here, Jesus. Haste? Big shot? There's Splinter again. Oh, double shot, that's kind of fun. Yeah, it's a triple shot now, yep. Oh no, that's a quadruple shot, isn't it? Oh shit. Okay, oh my god. That is a quad shot, yep. They'll just feel very weak, unfortunately. Need haste, too. Real bad. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, it really feels like we probably should have just taken lightning early on here. I'm definitely going to grab it if I see it again here. That would have been a huge help. I guess I should probably try to kill the boss. Oh my goodness. Not not getting experience, at least. There it is. Yeah, we gotta go Electro Mage. No doubt. Alright, maybe we'll get some help with this. Oh my god, wow, that immediately... Immediately... Had a massive impact. That's fun, too. I love using the ability like that. actually really useful. That's super fun, holy shit. I like that a lot. Oh, you're here already, oh my god. Pyromage? Vitality? Let's take Vitality. 
the massive difference, man. It's crazy. I gotta move as soon as I spawn here. Oh, nice. We gotta make it rain again. Sweet. Wee! That is really fun. Ooh, electro bug too. Let's go. Ooh, energized though. Eh, not as good. I think I'd rather have electro bug. <laughs> I like this very much. Oh boy. Did you die? Goodness, man. Hey yo! Light bullets. Increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you get hit. Take light bullets. Oh boy. Did you die? Jesus. Whee! This spin attack really popping off all of a sudden, dude. Apparently, our damage is pitiful against a single target like this. He's just refusing to die. There he goes, finally. Frost Mage is probably not a bad idea here. Splinter could be good. Uh, let's take the Frost Mage, though. And see what this has to offer. I love that I'm actually being, or I'm in a position now where using that skill is probably the best strategic choice, which is pretty great. Really gotta clear out the horde here so I can actually reach the fucking pentagram though. Really like, especially moving around like this, it feels like it's just the best way to get a bunch of lightning bolts on the board right away. Energized is still good, certainly. I'll take it. Ooh, elements. Summoning. Speed. Gotta be elements. Oh, this is fun now. Oh, we can occasionally it'll give us the... Oh my god, we can just keep doing this. <laughs> That's insane. Hey, lightning mastery too. Excellent. Because we keep reloading off of lightning shots, and so I just keep right clicking and it resets the spin attack. That's amazing. Jesus Christ, this is cool. You know what? Pyro. I got the elemental bonus after all. That is so cool, man. This is a fun build. God, I love that. Insanely effective, surprisingly effective. Ah, damn, dude. Let's see. Fire starter. Oh shit! Yes, fire starter. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be launching fireballs everywhere. <laughs> That's really good. That's working. Look at the screen shake going on now. God damn. 
Oh, the fireballs follow my cursor. They do? Yeah, look at that. I can take advantage of that, dude. I can take full advantage of that. Beauty. Overload, yes! Bitrate hasn't been killed, runs not OP enough. Full agree. We got more work to do. Tree's still sticking around. Magnetism. Haste is probably the way to go. Holy shield again. You know what? I always love a holy shield. Especially because it seems like the upgrades for the holy shield can be really, really good too. Great upgrade, I guess. Let's do the ice shards. That sounds like fun. Or how much damage those actually do. Another upgrade. Frostbite, yes, please. good. I need to increase my reload speed still if I can. That seems like it would be a really helpful upgrade too. That is so satisfying, man. Here come the leech dragons. Divine Wrath. Yep. Thank you. This is all starting to come together. Jesus Christ, I just keep reloading. That's crazy. So good. Splinter would certainly work out here, yeah. Oh boy, this is, this is what I've been waiting for, man. This is the power I craved. Yeah, these guys are going down lickety split. Oh, look at that, we took a tree out. Now we're feeling good. I think haste is in order. Oh my god. This is very good. Need to find wherever I left all that experience behind, man. Could have sworn there was a lot more left over. Got our boss here as well. Just wiping out the whole goddamn board. There's a little bit left. I'm just mashing right click. It's pretty much the whole offensive situation here. I suppose going for the boss is probably for the best. He was up this way. So he doesn't teleport toward you. Oh, I think he might actually. I was going to say, I don't think he teleports toward you like he does a vampire. Might be easy to lose him. I was going to try to shoot right at him, but then it occurred to me, like, I'm pretty sure that's not actually how I'm any more effective with this build. I'm pretty sure... Just the more bullets we fire, the better. It doesn't really matter what direction they go. 
as you can see, he's getting hit by just about everything anyway. Increase move speed and reload rate by 35% for two seconds after reloading. Increasing the re reload rate for two seconds after reloading. I don't think that's actually going to have any uh, factor or be a factor. I guess the move speed bonus is nice. Very close on that one. Nearly got a level. Increase reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. Enemies affected by freeze explode when killed and deal damage to nearby enemies equal to 25% of their max HP. Holy hell. Yep. That's the one. That'll be the choice. Holy hell. Shattering into itty bitty pieces. The whole lot of them. That'll work. They're like afraid to approach me now. It's hilarious. Yeah, reload rate. Yeah, I don't, don't want to go get him. You go get him. You seen that thing? It's fucking terrifying. He just doesn't stop firing. When do the bullets cease? One might hit level 25 here. Let's try a controlled shot for a little bit. Ah, oh, never mind. Definitely not the play. Yeah, the moment I stopped doing this, you saw how much worse it got. This is clearly still the way to go. Whoa! Oh, that's what you do. I had no fucking idea. You just disappeared the first time. Hang on, we gotta go collect all this shit. Die. That seems pretty easy to avoid. I guess it does have a much bigger impact when you're like surrounded by enemies, but clearly not gonna happen for us here. All oh, right, yeah, I keep forgetting to aim my fireballs. Yeah, that's a lot more damage. Right, yeah, this dude's normally surrounded by all his buddies, so I'm sure that makes this directional shot a lot harder to deal with. Ah. Uh, None of this is really all that good. I guess elasticity, but I don't think that's really... I mean, actually, that could be pretty pretty good. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, no, that's probably pretty good. <laughs> that seems like it's going to help out. <laughs> Gun mastery, nice. Oh, rubber bullets too, though. Jesus. And intense burn, honestly, those are all pretty good. I'll take gun mastery though. Whee! Oh, hey buddy. Have some fireballs. How's that feel? Oh wait, what's that? What's that? You can't get your attack off. You can't even see where you are because you're being hit by an unending barrage of death? What's that? You're dead? Oh, interesting. <laughs> sure, what up? God 
Damn, dude. Splinter? Oh, Jesus. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Colors burst! Bullets go bounce, bounce, bounce. And it means you're gonna trounce, trounce. Yeah, you know. Best I could do. Intense burn? Rubber bullets again? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Rubber bullets. Bounce, bounce, baby, come bounce with me. Yep, it's just obliterating everything now. That's doing pretty well. Seen here the typical American dream. Very nice. Indeed. I believe you've come back to a destroyed bitrate, would be my guess. I'm assuming OBS isn't liking this too much. Oh, kill clip again. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the way to go, dude. Never mind. I'm taking siege. I'm just gonna stand still now. Just don't move, yep. That's the play. Just fill the screen with bullets infinitely. It's going pretty good. Going pretty good. Doing good here. Yeah. Everybody pretty satisfied with this it's working out I mean I guess we can go get some experience oh shit I got shot didn't I that's what I get for not looking give me that experience give me that experience yeah, level 28. Ooh, divine blessing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I kind of I kind of just want to get fanfire for fun, but this is way better. This way I get to shoot more anyway. I feel like by, by default this is probably just more bullets. Twenty-nine seconds. Oh, Spitfire! There we go, dude. Or Splitfire, I mean. <laughs> Look at all those extra bullets from Splitfire! Holy shit! <laughs> Wee! The things behind me are in more danger than the things I can see. You thought you were safe because I had my back turned? <laughs> You've survived! Hooray. Fun, fun, fun. We did it. That was a fun build, man. That was neat. So that leaves us with the bat gun. Shoot bats that chase down enemies. Bats are both bullets and summons. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I gotta try that, right? And then the grenade launcher, which of course can hurt me. Thank you, Super Moto Man, for the bits. Appreciate it. Let's try the bat gun with spark. Well, actually, hold on. Let's strengthen our summons, because I imagine Hina's summon gets stronger when we... Um, If we take the summon upgrades, let's try that. Oh yeah, I forgot to do my runes too. Hold on, let me do that first. 
There goes my win streak, son of a bitch. So we want to do for summons. Let's see. Summon two seismic wards that knock back nearby enemies every 10 seconds. One second faster per rank. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that out. How do I get to that? Can't, I can't unlock it. wonder if I have to get the one before that first. Oh, it's rank 5 plus. Wait. So, that, oh, I have to do five of them in this section in order to get down there. Okay, I got, I got you, I got you. Um, let's do this, I guess, first. Sure. Okay. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. There we go. You gotta equip the rune you want on each tier, right? Yeah. This is cool. This gun seems neat. Seems pretty strong, actually. Very quiet, yeah. Unassuming. Holy shield right away. Um, yeah. Can you shadow step through enemies? No, I think last time I did that, I got hit. I'm pretty sure you have to have an upgrade that allows you specifically to do that. Doo -doo. It does do that. It's got a little knockback, which is nice. Yeah, piercing would be really good on this, wouldn't it? That's a good point. I like power shot. Well, speaking of piercing, though. We do want summons on this build. Seems wise to invest in that early on here. There's like really no cooldown on that, is there? It's crazy. Electromage is always good. Double shot could probably be pretty helpful here. Ghost friend now shoots toward where you aim. I like double shot for this. Another bad per shot. Looks like it's only three. Which is weird. Since the uh, SMG turn it into four. Yeah, you would think that would be four. I don't know why it's not. Frost Mage again. Divine Wrath's pretty good still. Ah, oh, that's true, huh? Dual SMG is two guns, so I guess that's why it operates differently. a hit, I think. Shit. Split fire, I bet, is actually really good here. I'm gonna take split fire. Oh, nice. We knocked him back. Yeah, split fire is just an additional bullet straight up. Not even really hindered all that much. Just more damage, dude. Yeah, they track anyway, right? So it's almost as good as just shooting another bullet. Oh shit. Ah, jeez, yeah. So that's what happens when I try to dash through them. They just they 
just popped me. Is there a shield? Oh, shield went away immediately. I was just going to say there's the shield back. Not anymore. Oh, man. I guess quick hands. Jeez. Hey, Amelia. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, there's our first boss. Yeah, really, I mean, we should not be looking at bullet damage at all for this build. I gotta, I gotta be trying to find as many summons upgrades as I can get. I mean, Electro Mage is still really good, though, man. It's hard to argue against that. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a nice big puddle. Pool of XP. There we go again. Ah, uh, let's take haste. I gotta be safer. Haste is just extremely valuable. Oh, the tree, right? I forgot. This gun seems pretty good. The damage is obviously lacking, but... I feel like we're going to be able to synergize well with it. Summon attack speed up. It's okay. Hmm. I guess... Nah, that doesn't seem very good. I'm going to take Frost Mage again. I feel like getting the base level of all three elements by itself is actually pretty damn good. So if you, even if you just take the lowest level of all three, you still get a pretty uh, remarkable effect from that. Out of there. Oh, I dashed right into it again. Son of a bitch. I think I might have to take Vitality. That is, like I said, though, this is still a great option. So now we got all three. We gotta be more careful with that. There's our chest. Summon attacks. Oh, it just changes the attack speed of the gun. I was wondering if that had any, had any impact on the bats. Apparently it does. I should take that then. Increasing their, or increasing the shot speed of this would be fantastic. get summon damage 25% shadow clone attacks three times faster that's really nice that's really really good energized not bad let's take that attack speed upgrade wow look at that holy shit that's huge yes Having a dash against this thing is going to be really helpful, too. I just realized that. Okay, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot all of a sudden. Just got to be careful. Ooh, close. Got our shield here, too, which feels a lot better. Um, hmm. Maybe bullet speed would be a good way to go here. Yeah, that's probably going to help a lot. Oh, Jesus. That was scary. Man, got into a sticky situation for a second there. Okay, we got out of it, though. Oh, my God. Did we? I don't know. I don't know. If he could just die, that would be swell. This dude is... 
menace. Holy shit. Just hammer him to death or something. Something here, please, God. I don't know if I'm actually doing well anymore. Frostbite. This thing is still up. I don't have my holy shield right now either. Holy shit. I think I have a lot of experience left up here. This is insane. I can't believe he's still alive. He's gonna be up by the time the next boss shows up. Jesus Christ. There we go. Holy hell. Tome of speed. Tome of rage. Tome of elasticity. I'll take it. Wait, that's not gonna help at all. Why'd I do that? Whoops. That's an oops. I thought I had something different, apparently. Oh, well. Oh, it does help? Okay, good. Well, I'm dead anyway, so... Yeah. Rip. Oh, well. That was an interesting one. That, that section, dude, it's the new bone zone, and if you're not ready for it, it's just going to overwhelm you. Let's try a grenade launcher run for fun. I'm probably going to bring diamond out for that one because I'm, I'm going to get myself killed, almost certainly. All right. That works. Take those upgrades. Sounds good. Off we go. Mm-hmm. Well, we know what to do here. Get them all together, and then kaboom! Yep, that's pretty good. 12, yeah, please, double shot. Immediately. That's gotta be fucking fantastic. Yep. Very good. Frost mate, sure. Holy shield, yeah, there's a good idea. There is a very good idea. <laughs> Do this with the spinning one, right? That'd be great. I really like that you've got so many shots on this thing. I expected it to be like one or two before you had to reload. This seems really good. Especially early. Um, I'll take magnetism here. Everybody come on in a big, big group now. Nice big group together. Bundle them all up. And then we go kaboom, 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 kaboom. Kaboom! Everybody loves a big kaboom. Nice big earth shattering kaboom. Over we go. Nice. Reload rate doesn't really matter that much, I don't think. Peter Beck! 68 months. Thank you for the resubscription. Welcome back in. Get the bear hugs for him, please. If you got any bear hugs, let him feel the love for the resubscription. Appreciate it. 
Look at that magic number, Peter. Fire rate upgrade? No, thank you. I'll take a haste. I will happily take a haste. Always need move speed. I'm a big fan of this so far. I'm liking the grenade launcher. Ice shard, fan fire. I'll take the watch and learn. Even more pickup range. Give me all the goodies. Yeah, I've got many warnings about Splinter with this, so I'm going to think twice about that. I think already having the Holy Shield here is going to be a pretty big advantage. I'm glad we got that. Dragon Egg, it's pretty early for that, but I don't think we necessarily want to go that way. Just like I'm having the uh, vision. really good. Just a very safe strategy so far. Okay. Recharge. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Seems pretty good on this gun. how uh, quickly we can take this guy out with some explosives. Seems like it's going pretty quick. Well, I guess I don't really have a way to tell, do I? Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a good way to tell. Oh, I think I cleared my shield on accident. Whoops. Reload rate and move speed by 25% when holy shield is active. Sure. More move speed's probably good. You know, a little worried about our potential to clear out uh, the, the waves that are gonna be like surrounding me. Cause I've just been able to establish a decent amount of distance between me and the enemy so far here. Ooh, bulk up increases your damage dealt every time you heal. That's unfortunately gonna require me to take damage. After picking up XP, gain plus 35% fire rate for one second. That's not gonna help. We're gonna need Frostbite. It's gonna have to be Frostbite again. I honestly don't think the uh, reload on XP pickup is gonna be a big factor either, unfortunately. Especially because the reload on this thing is not really all that big of a factor fairly quick and don't end up having to reload all that much anyway. Uh, let's see. I guess intense glare, sure. I really don't know if that's working as intended. I feel like glare should be doing more. I guess I do see it uh, popping for 10 every now and then, but Come to think of it, actually, yeah, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, so never mind. I was wrong. Yeah, this grenade launcher is just... It's taking care of business early on here, for sure. It's having very few issues. Uh, how about... Divine Wrath. Sure. Hey, buddy. Let's see how quickly we can handle you this time. Got our holy shield back, sweet. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a pretty easy go of this one. Not this run, but this fight in particular.
Oh, the on hit effect is bugged for the glare? That sucks. There goes my shield, sadly. There's my pentagram, though. All right. That's actually good, because we want to be able to heal at least once in order to benefit from that uh, damage increase. We just have to find a way to do it now. Yeah, there we go. Glare damage occurs twice as much. Home of power. Yes. Bullet damage plus 50%, bullet size plus 100%. Those are some big fucking booms, dude. Them some big booms. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Ah, yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a problem, probably. In fact, I think that's gonna make it even worse for... for when I have to get further away. Thankfully, we are pretty quick. There's Vitality. Yeah, this seems like it's gonna be problematic. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get back up. Especially because they're not instantly exploding some of the time. Which I can't really explain that fully. Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, was there piercing? Ah, oh, that's why. Oh, Jesus, I'm an idiot. Giant! That, that's certainly not gonna make it any better, is it? <laughs> that's gonna make things considerably worse. Whoops. I mean, shit's dying pretty quick. That's nice, and we got a holy shield. Not all boned. Not all totally boned. Not to mention we got the divine shield lightning bolts. That's gone now, of course, because I just got completely swarmed. Oh my god, dude. Yep, this is where I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, I'm so screwed. Not what we needed. Not at all. This just keeps happening. This, this is just gonna keep happening every goddamn time. Yeah, it's just endlessly getting bone zoned. That's so frustrating. Hmm. After picking up XP, gain 7% move speed for one second. That could be pretty good. Enemies take plus 3% extra damage per rank while within your vision range. Hmm. You have to still upgrade these. Let's try Abby with a grenade launcher. <laughs> Just for fun. Just as a goof. <laughs> Wee! You gonna be a doubter here? Yeah. I can't blame you. Oh well. 
Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you seem to have a good understanding of what we're going for. Mage. Oh, twin shot again would have been interesting. One's probably enough. Maybe reduced bullet size. No way, dude. You want a big boom. The biggest of booms. There's frostbite right away. Thank you. Just bunch them up. Big money, big money, big money. Whoa, shit. Woo, sniped it. Use the right click ability with one shot left. Brilliant. Let's see. Reload rate. Sure. Okay. That should be another level right there. Magnetism, glare again. Let's do the divine blessing again, I guess. Doo -doo. Okay. Already loving that extra move speed. Big fan of that. Fire rate up, haste, even more move speed. Magic Dagger deals as much damage as your bullets. Which I've got to imagine is really, really good for the grenade launcher. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This thing's just popping on everybody. God damn. Yeah, that's really strong. That's going to work out pretty well. I'll take haste again. Actually, you know what? Heavy weaponry. Oh, my God. I think we're in business. I think the doubters might be sweating here. Bear found the keys to the kingdom. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, yeah. That is some big time damage on the side and the dagger. Holy shit. This is working. Increase move speed and reload rate by 35% for two seconds after reloading. Okay. Uh, well, this increases our summon damage, right? If I increase my bullet damage, that increases my summon damage. Sick. Okay, Magic Dagger is just broken right now. That thing is insanely strong. So what we need, obviously, is to get the second one. Dual wield them daggers. Don't even need to fire the grenade launcher anymore. Oh, maybe even oh, Ghost Friend has a set damage value, but there we go. Big shot. Yep. 
Yep, okay, so now the dagger is hitting for 115. Holy Christ. That's a big number for that thing. As you can see, just instantly popping everybody. I'm just walking around and collecting experience at this point. I'm not even firing my weapon. We're back to vampire survivors. Ah, oh, that was my shield shit. Vitality. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yay, I'm winning! Without really doing anything. The best kind of winning. My favorite way to win. Oh, yeah. That's the. Oh, you think I'm worried about you, buddy? You think I am at all concerned? Fat fucking chance. Get daggered. Get scythed. Get naded. I'm even gonna shoot you with my gun. Just as a sign of disrespect. Oh, Jesus. Double shot. I don't know if I need that. Um, it does lower bullet damage too. Yeah, let's just get some magnetism here. See ya. Tome of Summoning. Yes. 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 150. This is where I stand here, assuming I'm okay. Is this where I stand here with my arms folded and behold my work? Not quite. We're not quite there yet. But almost. Grenades! Well, that's not really gonna happen. Divine Wrath isn't bad. Yeah, we'll do that. I guess I can shoot my gun every now and then. That is an option. Should I so desire? Doo -doo -doo. 15 coming up. There's my shield back. That means a lot more move speed and the lightning bolts. Vitality? I don't think so. Bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. Eh. It's a bullet damage upgrade. I think it's worth it. Dealing 170 nearly with our scythe and daggers. The scythe and daggers sounds like the name of an inn from Darkest Dungeon. They would like it had, it had like a five percent chance to to bleed every character upon entering, just to fuck with you. Haste again? Double shot ain't the way to go here, I don't think. I'll take haste. Yeah, nearly in bone zone again, huh? Which, thankfully, this time I do think I'm much better equipped to deal with. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to handle it here. The lightning in particular is going to be really helpful for this this time. I think it starts at 12, right? Is the real. It's when the real party begins. Look at them daggers fly. Just in time. 
Maybe I want to recharge the holy shield faster. Recharge is not really a factor here. Splinter, definitely not the way to go. I'll take the stalwart shield. So we can make damn sure we got this thing ready. All right, we got lots of movement speed this time as well. So this is going to help us out a ton. Let's do it. We're going to just follow the naturally generated path here. Stay out of the center if I can, like I have, or like I'm refusing to do here. Ooh, blazing speed actually is pretty helpful here. Stay out of the middle, stay out of the middle. Let's blow a few up too, why not? There we go, nice. Dragon egg, eh, it's a little late for that. Hey, yeah, in the wind is a good way to go. Increase bullet damage by 10% every 10 seconds. This is, of course, just going to make our summons even more powerful. We're looking like we're doing pretty well in Bone Zone here. Yeah, this is really good. Almost level 20. Trying to keep that holy shield up. This is going really good. Did I just hit myself? I hope not. Let's see. I'll go with running gun. Our move speed is going to be out of control now. All right, there goes my shield. We got a one minute cooldown on that. So that's going to be about 939-ish. That's coming back. Careful here. Let's go ahead and fire a few this way, I guess. That works. Looking good. Um, glare. I don't think going in on anything that requires me to actually shoot here is necessarily the way to go. It's not that it's going to be bad, but... It's just so risky to even fire my weapon right now, especially in this phase. I've got to get up to the north again here. I'm gonna pick up all this XP. Looks like we made it through. Survived the bone zone this time. Nice. That feels good. Rapid fire, intense glare. Honestly, Magic Lens could even be good here. I think I'm going to go Intense Glare, though. Yeah, I guess we could go with Ghost, too. Ghost would already be pretty good, despite the fact that it's not based on my damage. Just with all the upgrades we've already got. Oh, does Ghost give you a summon power up later? Well, that would certainly be a way to, or that would certainly be a reason to go that way too. Indeed. Our move speed here is insane. Never moved anywhere even close to this fast. Feels very, very good. Trying to get all the stragglers here, get us up to 23 real quick. Huge summon attack speed up. Yeah, no, that would be pretty fantastic. Gonna wanna go for that. There, let's snag these. Beautiful. Recharge, probably not it. Still not magic lens. Sakata's okay. Splinter's not the way to go. There we go. 
Honestly, this glare damage is probably pretty significant too. Hey, what's up, Burning? Yeah, Splinter's not the way to go here, I don't think. It would be fun, but I'd probably just get killed real fast. All right, let's see how we handle the boss here. He is probably going to be sticking around for a while, I'd guess. I'm trying to... Trying to direct some bombs his way, but that's proving difficult. This move speed has been extremely valuable. Just dancing through everything. Only like halfway to, or not even halfway to 24. Damn, yeah, the levels are slow coming now. I'd very much like to kill this dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, there goes my shield. Okay, that's 648. Yikes. Shit. Oh, God. Wow. Stay out of that. We got to keep moving and we got to go around in the circle if we can here, but that may not be a possibility given the spawning they got going on here. Holy fucking shit. I'm dead. Yep. Wow. Bone zone number two. Couldn't quite get through that one. Jesus. That was rough. That was uh, a lack of targeted damage, I think, that was primarily our issue there. Unfortunate. All right, cool. That seems like a good start for 20 minutes till dawn today. I think I'll uh, put a pin in that right there. We'll definitely play more of this soon. This is good. I'm very impressed with this so far. It's got a lot of potential. I'm excited to try out some different kinds of builds and the synergies we can get going on.